The Atlanta Hawks are turning it around. I made a video about this a few days ago, but the reason they're turning around, not only are their playing playing up to par, even though Trey Young honestly had a horrendous game besides passing really well against the Celtics, is because Nate McMillan is a goddamn good coach. Tell me in the comments down below, do you agree with me? I want to talk about something that he did in this game that I was just like, and I was surprised that the broadcasters brought it up because, you know, broadcasters sometimes tend to miss these things, but they brought it up. They pulled Clint Capella out of the game and they put Cam Reddish. There was a lineup, I believe it was like Cam Reddish, Trey Young, Daniela Gallinari, and I think the last guy, I believe, was Bogdan Bogdanovich, okay? And it was great because the Celtics were playing, you know, they've been playing all year this switch everything, trap everything defense. And Nate McMillan being the smart, experienced, veteran coach that he is looked and now and like and analyzed the situation it was like all right let's space the floor if they wanna if they want to switch everything we're gonna make them have to switch a lot of distance okay because things people don't realize is switching like is awesome but when people space the floor that's more ground to cover when you switch when people are playing more you know compact inside the arc obviously it's, it works more efficiently but when you have to switch cross the key, that takes a few seconds, especially once you start getting picks. Because I saw this one play, it was great. They handed the ball off. It was, I think Lou Will got the ball and Danielle Garinari cut to the right side of the key. And on his way there, John Collins and Cam Reddish both set picks, basically creating obstacles for the defender that was trailing Danielle Garinari to basically get hung up for a second so he was trailing him he got a step behind him cam reddish gets the ball from lou wills cuts and passes it daniel garnari and he hits the three okay and that is a great drawn up play by nick nate mcmillan or you know a area a point of emphasis that he talks about is setting up you know his players with off ball motion such as you know picks and literally spacing the floor, looking at John Collins, even though Clint Capella is a rebounding vortex and you know, and he's really good at protecting the paint, John Collins came in, had his 11 rebounds. John Collins was able to play the small ball five. They put Daniel Gallinari at power forward. They had Cam Reddish at small forward. Cam Reddish also, who he ended up with 19 points, was phenomenal. Let's give a round of applause to Cam Reddish. I know he was one for six, but what I want to give him is his defensive performance. There was one play. I know John Collins got actually the ball got knocked out and it was out of bounds. And Jason Tatum did a good job defensively. But Cam Reddish literally ball hawked it, got the ball, and then saved it from going out of bounds. Got it and then passed it to John Collins. John Collins waited, you know, pump fake Tatum, and then Tatum obviously got the ball. But that was a good read by Jason, not Jason Tatum, but Cam Reddish to defensively and then looking for the man down below okay that was a play that you know i think is an example nate mcmillan is a good coach he's instilling good fundamentals and i really thought pulling capella out of the game okay and going small using his length okay then Gallinari, not a really good defender but by having you know having cam reddish out there and also having john collins two guys who are very good defenders and he also out there ran at moments. I know we saw some DeLon Wright, and DeLon Wright had some good moments defensively. So right there, I think that's kudos to our man, Nate McMillan, being a good coach. And this is just me showing that, like, once this team, they were just going through a shooting slump, okay? They were just going through a shooting slump. This is one of the best teams in the goddamn NBA for a reason, okay? There's a reason why they're one of the best teams in the NBA, and why I believe that, or what they're a top six seed in the Eastern Conference. I do truly believe that. And it's because of, in my opinion, Nate McMillan being a good coach and because of the amount of depth on this team. People don't realize everybody goes through shooting slumps. I think that's just something that naturally happens, okay? Not everyone's gonna be out there being able to drop, you know, 20 points every night shooting at like 40%. That's something. You just got to work on, okay? So I think the moral of this is, guys, the Atlanta Hawks are back. If you're a Hawks fan, 
and you've been worried, don't worry anymore. Because the Atlanta Hawks are back and they are going to make the playoffs be a top six seed in the Eastern Conference. I know the East is now the most difficult. Like I think the East is better than the, Confer the Western Conference without a doubt. I think they're way better. Okay. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. But that's basically it for me. Peace. Ooh.